Hi everyone, Just for Sweets here. Today we are going to make a holiday drink, something I haven't really done. And this one's really simple and easy. And it's just something that's good for like a cold night or maybe like Christmas Eve when you're having your family over and you want just a nice <clears throat> spiked drink. Um, I call this one Kris Kringle's Cocoa. And um, we're gonna use actually um, the cocoa mix that I made. So go back and check that video out on how to make the dry cocoa or the dry hot chocolate and um, the only other thing we really need is um, some white chocolate liqueur and you can use any brand you want to just make sure it's a white chocolate liqueur and they sell a couple different brands Godiva makes good ones um, but I'm just using more of an off brand and we have some marshmallows and we have some candy canes and we have some whipped cream and we have two different style of mugs we have the redneck votive uh, uh, and I can't talk glass or jar thing that I made um, and then I just have like a regular glass coffee mug you know glass makes it look pretty a little bit more festive so you can pick some of these up at Ross like you can get like six to ten of them for really inexpensive um, or even the dollar store has the glass mugs and the size I'm looking really quick because you know how bad I am the size that I'm using um, of my redneck mug is a half pint so or you can use a, a bigger one just depending on how much cocoa you want alright so let's get started and you also need a cup of coffee so if you don't like coffee just substitute that with milk or water and um but I'm gonna make mine with coffee so this is what we're gonna do we are adding let's see we're gonna start with our cocoa and we're going to do two scoops of cocoa. So make sure you check these, check out how to make our powdered cocoa. And if you don't want to make the powdered cocoa, then uh, you can definitely just buy store bought. So I'm going to do two scoops, two teaspoons of cocoa. Next, we are going to add our hot coffee add our hot coffee and just save a little bit of room for the white chocolate liqueur because you're going to add about a shot of that in there but you want to stir this in and get everything all blended together now if you want to make a big thing of this make it in a pitcher and then pour it into the mugs and that would be a little bit easier all right so you want to stir these in get that hot chocolate stirred into the coffee just like so all right Ooh, this one's a little bit harder to do it in because it's shallow but just want to make sure that all gets stirred in okay next what you want to do is you want to add let's see got some powder floating on the top here these can be tricky so this is a brand new bottle of white chocolate liqueur and hopefully I can open this. Sometimes I wonder. I use my hands all the time, but for some reason I'm a weakling when it comes to opening things. Okay. So we are basically going to top these off with our white chocolate liqueur. So I'd say probably right around a shot, depending on how strong you want it. <clears throat> And let's go ahead and stir those in. It smells good. All right. Now, you have two ways that you can top this. We can top it with some marshmallows. And I just have mini marshmallows. And I'm going to put them onto a coffee stir stick that I just buy a whole box of. I use these actually at the salon to... <clears throat> um, wax people's eyebrows <laughs> but um, I, I have boxes of them so I also use them for beverages so put them on there <clears throat> there goes my voice again I'm sorry and you can toast these if you want to like over your stovetop and make them nice and toasty like a s'more all right so I'm gonna put those in there this way and then that way you can serve it and people can 
dip it in and stir it around if they want to. Now, the other thing we want to do is we're going to just take a little cute little candy cane, these little candy canes that I get, and put that on the side. Just like so. So that looks nice and Christmassy and festive. All right. For our second one, we can do some whipped cream. Just like that. Take a little bit of our hot cocoa mix, just a tad, and sprinkle it on top so you get that cocoa looking cream. And again, take a candy cane and just stick that right on the side of the cup and you can do a couple of them or one. And that's all there is to it. So this is our Kris Kringle cocoa. I'm going to get you nice and close to this. Let's put this down a little bit. Like I said, these are nice and festive. There you go. Now, I apologize for my my filming, but I'm, you know, I'm not on TV, so <laughs> I am just making videos for my my friends out there. All right. So here's our Kris Kringle cocos delicious don't they look great and I'm going to actually try one and I'm going to try the one with the whipped cream because that whipped cream is going to melt and it's going to make it taste so good mmm super good great drink to serve on Christmas Eve or for a holiday party make a big crock pot of the hot chocolate and coffee together and put your condiments on the side <clears throat> have your mugs gosh I'm so sorry <clears throat> have your mugs all ready to go and you know you can decorate them ahead of time and then people can just make their cocoa and and just have fun with it so again it was our homemade hot cocoa powder or hot chocolate powder and if you don't have that then you can use store-bought i used coffee with mixed it with coffee and we used a white chocolate liqueur and then adorned it with either whipped cream and a candy cane or uh, marshmallows on a coffee stick with a candy cane so whichever you prefer to do and uh, if you want to make it non-spiked, you can alleviate the white chocolate liqueur and just put some white chocolate chips in there and stir those up to make it a little bit a little bit different for the kiddos. So anyway, that is my version. I hope you had fun with it. I hope you get to make this holiday drink. And uh, please share this with your friends and family on Facebook. And I'd love for you to hit the like button and uh, leave me some comments or feedback. And until next time, next video, have a wonderful day and God bless.